okay so hello guys welcome back to the new video so today in this video i will show you how you can set the global styles using elementor okay so global styles are very useful if you are making any website they will make your design process very fast and whenever you want to change any things like fonts and colors you have to just change it uh, at one place and it will reflect in uh, all over the website in one time okay so let's start the video and i will show you how you can do this step by step okay so let's start making that layout and so here uh, you can see that i have the blank canvas so we're gonna try to make the same layout by using the global styles so first uh, we have to make the layout and before making the layout let's uh, go to the global style settings and we're gonna set the global styles there okay so first you have to go to the site settings so let's go to the side setting and here, and here you will find this option global colors and global fonts so let the fonts so let's set the font first okay so here you can see that we have the main heading then one we have the small para and then we have one more heading and then we have this para same to same para and then we have this btn so we will use the same fonts the para and the btn font and if you want you can make the btn font uh, uh separately also okay so first uh, we're gonna make the main heading okay so for making that we have to go to the global fonts and here you can see that we have the style so don't use this system fonts i prefer to use this custom fonts so you can have this so right here we can write uh, main heading and here we want the heading font should be oswald okay so let's add the oswald and here we want the font size to be 45 pixel and weight would be 600 semi bold and the transform would be uppercase okay so this is the first global styles of our main adding then we have the para so let's add here para paragraph okay so here we're gonna use the poppins font my favorite font poppins font okay and the size of this will be 15 pixel is good to go and uh, and here if you want to set anything you can set it okay so this is the para then one more we need for this short uh, small heading or you can write here small heading so that's why I, that's why i use the custom fonts because we are not able to rename here so we can rename here according to these names okay so here the font family would be oswald uh, oswald again and its size would be and if you want if the size will be 22 pixel is good let's save it let's save the changes first and uh, also here you will see the layout so right now it is okay so here you can see that we have this okay so sometime it's not loaded or this there is some glitch or something so we have this below so let me refresh this once so I think after refreshing I will get this so if you don't get this let's go to the global font again and uh, here you can see that we have this uh, main heading okay so we have this okay so here you can see that we have this uh, uh, we have this uh, view also so this is the main heading view so this so like this it will appear so you can also have it small from here if you don't like this size this is the para and this is the small heading okay so all the all the things are set and if you want you can add here btn font also btn font and for this also we gonna use the pocket font and we can have some small size for this like 14 pixel okay so this is good okay so this one is good now we gonna save the changes okay so we have set our global fonts now we gonna set the global colors okay so let's go back and here we're gonna go to global colors so like here you can see that we have this black and red for now okay so i'm gonna add only these two color so let's add the black color here and thus black would not be completely black this to be matte black then we have the red color so here we can add this red color like this okay so let's save the changes okay so whenever you start making any website always uh, always first make your global colors okay then after that uh, let's start making this so for that we have to add a new flex box like this so we can write it here main okay let's do one should be zero zero pixel go to advanced remove, uh, remove all of these paddings 80 pixel to the top 80 pixel to the bottom now we can add a heading here okay so let's make everything in the center first so let's make this center 
and here you can see that so let's write it here global styles using elementor okay then go to styles and here you can see that if you click on this you have you have this all of this so we are gonna use the small heading is there i can't see the bigger heading okay so this is the main heading so right now and also you can go to the test color here you will find the global colors also black and red so let's choose the blacks okay so you have set this now we can have a para so we can drag and drop this para now you can go to styles and here in the typography you have this para so this will be like this okay now you can see that we have this grids here so let's go to the grid and we're gonna make this grid also globally so let's drag and drop this and here you can see that we want four by one and just remove all of these paddings and here we can add this container and remove all of these paddings now we can add an image here okay and then let's use this image okay then after that we can add a heading here and let's name this uh, let's name this landscapes we can also have this in the center okay so for this now we have to set the global color fonts again so this is a small heading and the color would be black only okay so this week this thing now we can add a para below this and we can go to styles make it in the center and this would also have very small touch like this so let's go to the global fonts and here we're gonna set this para okay now we can add a btn okay and let's uh, rename this uh, no more and uh, this would be btn font okay and the background color would be red okay let's go to the layout here we're gonna make it 16 okay so you can see that we have just made a layout for the dummy purpose so let's duplicate this okay let's uh, duplicate this so here we have the four now let's publish now suppose you have make your whole website and the client want to change the global styles uh, uh, pair of font size and this red color a little bit more uh, and this red to blue something so if you have so many layouts and you have a six to six to seven six to seven pages in your website and so if you don't set the global colors and global fonts so you have to go in every section of the of the website and have to change the global things there means the fonts you have to change all of this manually in every section so that's why we use the global styles so the power of the global style is this suppose we uh, so suppose the client wants this uh, uh, red to blue color and he wants to increase the font size of this paragraph okay so just you have to go to the just you have to go to the site settings and in the site settings just go to the global fonts okay so here you can see that we have the global fonts for the para so suppose we want to make this para of 17 pixel okay so let's make this 17 pixel suppose also and also we want to make this uh, to uppercase so uh, only for the demonstration purpose let's make this uppercase okay so let's save the changes so you have make this uppercase so let's go to the here and let's refresh okay so after refreshing you can see that we uh, all the font para are changed to uppercase okay so this is the power of the global styles now if you want to change the global colors so suppose the client wants this red to be blue okay so he wants the red to be blue so we can just uh, go here and just change the uh, here and just go and refresh your whole website so it will be automatically changed in every sections okay so this is the power of the global style i hope you understand how you can set the global styles the global fonts and the global colors in your website so always make it first then make your website okay so i hope you like this quick uh, video so if you like our channel please like and share our videos with your friends and if you're new and if you are new please subscribe to our channel we make awesome uh, elementary videos do check out our channel and i'm gonna see you next time